All right, well, welcome back. Today I'm going to do uh, one of the uh, most requested videos or discussions that I get in the comments um, and uh, really kind of address the question that a lot of people have, especially on my Cuba videos, is do I bring cigars back from Cuba? And if so, how do I do that? So before we get into that, um, we'll do our uh, here. I got uh, the Bolivar uh, Accutron, a, a nice Valjo movement uh, leather band. I usually wear the stainless steels, and uh, and then uh, have the green. They look brown here, but they're actually a greenish uh, alligator belly by a Rios of Mercedes. So, I've already pulled out of the Euro cave. Sorry, everything's kind of messy right now in here. But I pulled out a couple of cigars. And these are cigars from... Um, they're, they're not labeled. They are Cuban cigars. And they are, they've been rolled by a lady named Margarita. And she is at the Commodoro Hotel. Many of you may have seen my video where I go to the Commodoro and get get her hand rolled cigars. And so this one is a, I um, got the pigtail on. It's kind of meant to be like a bahique. And it's really, really good. It's a, a lighter shade, kind of a medium shade. And then this one's a really a rare one that I really come to enjoy. It's a darker, almost like a Maduro. And those are hard to find in Cuba. I don't know if you would call it a Maduro. And and they're um, they're they're pretty big size. I'd say they're they're uh, about a 54 ring gauge, I think, and uh, maybe uh, five five by 54 or so. So I'm going to smoke this dark one now. I will tell you as as we get into the video, and I'll talk about cigars and how and if you can bring them back and how you might do so. Um, but uh, I'm going to do that while smoking this cigar. So let me put the uh, sit down here, get the camera focused. So this is probably a perfect time to say that the, the best place to smoke Cuban cigars is in Cuba. So I highly encourage you to go. If you like Cuban cigars, you want to try Cuban cigar. Go to Havana, and I have several videos on sort of tips, and if you're an American, how you can do that without violating any laws or regulations, and and uh, you can have a really nice time. It's an incredible experience. I highly recommend it. So, but that leads into this cigar here um, from the Hotel Commodoro. This uh, larger ring gauge. Maduro, uh, unlabeled, hand rolled by Margarita. If you go into the cigar shop at Hotel Commodoro, you can ask for Margarita. She'll be there most likely, her and her staff. And they have incredible cigars. But what I will say is that these cigars that I smoked there were absolutely perfect, phenomenal, no draw issues. And then when I brought some home, and I'm smoking them here in this relatively dry environment, even though I put them in my humidor, um, several of them had some issues with the draw. And I don't know if it's just adjusting to the climate here. Um, I'm not sure. So I'm hoping that some of them were, were fine. But, but I didn't have any kind of draw issues. Liza, Liza's getting a little territorial over there. Um, I didn't have any draw issues in Cuba. Lies. Uh, so we'll see if we have any draw issues here. So I got it pretty well torched up. Three puff test. Pretty good. A little bit of a draw issue, not terrible, but a little bit tight. A 
This is uh, rolled really solid. It's firm. It has just a little bit of push to it. Um, so, you know, again, when I'm there, it's fantastic. So, so tip number one, if you want to get Cuban cigars, uh, I suggest you go to Cuba. And if you're an American, watch my videos, but more importantly, read up on the provisions that allow you to go legally. One of them is called Support for the Cuban People. You can find all kinds of information online about that and how you do that. And I would suggest that you follow those regulations. They're not tough at all. And, and that you go to Cuba under that. And while you're doing your support for the Cuban people, you can pick up um, some cigars and have your taxi driver take you to uh, Hotel Commodoro, to the cigar shop, and uh, get get some of these cigars from Maria. So these, these cigars were... They, they weren't incredibly cheap, you know, for being unlabeled cigars. They're 15 to $20 a stick, but fantastic cigars. So, um, I highly recommend that. All right, well, so, to the big question, you know, can you bring cigars back, and if so, how do you do it? Well, number one, I'm not giving legal advice here, and nor... Am I admitting to violating any law, uh, United States or Cuban or otherwise, uh, um, the laws have changed since I've been going. And, and so, uh, even though I have brought cigars back, there was a period of time when I was going when it was legal to bring cigars back. And so, as far as that goes, the cigars I have here, um, may very well have been from the time when you could legally bring them back. So let's, let's leave it at that. The, the regulations right now from an American side, unfortunately, are that you cannot bring any cigars back. Um, President Obama opened it up. Um, you, you were allowed, I believe, during the Obama administration to bring like up to 100 cigars back. And, certain amount of liquor or alcohol that since changed with the Trump administration that was eliminated um, under Biden it is uh, not reverted back it stayed the same as it is under Trump so it's a fluid situation it could change again for sure but as of the current state of the law as I understand it you cannot bring cigars back into the United States. Now, do people do it? I'm sure they do. And, um, you know, what, what happens at customs? Um, typically, you make it asked, and, and there are some ways that you can um, make it easier for yourself uh, to navigate the customs in the U.S. side. One of, one of the ways is to uh, get the global entry. Uh, certification or card, global entry. You have to pass a background check and go through an interview, but basically it allows you to somewhat shortcut the customs interview process. So when you come back to the States and you, you scan your passport and, um, but nonetheless, if you are asked, if you are bringing back um, cigars from Cuba, and, and you say you are, uh, I suspect that they're going to take them. I think they have to because under the current state of the law, uh, you cannot. Now, I've come back sometimes and not been asked. Um, some other people I know haven't been asked. Um, you know, is I don't know of anybody that's been searched that, that I'm aware of. Uh, and again, I'm not saying I've brought them back illegally. Just say my observations um, are that people have done it uh, without an issue. Am I suggesting you should do that? No, I, that, that's up to you, you know. But uh, from the American side, right now, unfortunately, uh, the regulation is no, you can't, can't bring it back. And again, it wasn't long ago that you could bring up to 100 back, and um, but at either times. Now, I I do recall one time I was coming back 
um, from Mexico, and I was asked by a customs agent, and I was truthful, because I had picked up some cigars actually at the airport in uh, Mexico, and I was flying back into the States, and um, I wanted to be truthful, and that was the uh, time actually that I heard that you could bring back cigars uh, up to 100. And so I, I had like a box or two boxes maybe, and I told the agent that I had them. And uh, he said, well, you can't bring cigars back. I said, well, no, I, uh, the regulation, I looked it up and said you can bring back 100. And again, this is during the Obama administration. And he said, yeah, you can bring them back if you're coming from Cuba, but you're coming from Mexico, and so you cannot. So that was news to me. Um, again, the, the customs agent was reiterating the law at that time was that you could bring it back if you were coming from Cuba, but I was coming from Mexico. And But the interesting thing was, he said, are you sure these are Cuban cigars? And he had a good point. There was a lot of counterfeits, even at the airports, even at places you may think to be reputable. And I said, you know what, I don't know. I said, for all I know, they may be Cuban seed, you know, and, and uh, made in Nicaragua or Dominican. And he said, okay, fine, be on your way. And, and so, so I got in. Um, but again, today, um, it, you know, if, um, if you were to declare and you brought, brought them back, uh, I think they would have to take them. Now, how do you get out of Cuba? Is there is there an issue getting out of Cuba? You know, that I'm kind of focusing on the American side when you get back to the States. So, in Cuba, my understanding is, and I had the agents there at the airport tell me this, is that you can only take out two boxes of cigars out of Cuba and that you need to have receipts that you purchase those from an authorized uh, dealer, the La Casa de la Mons. And um, one of my friends, we were coming through, and he had, in his carry, or yeah, his carry-on, he had four boxes. And they, they saw that going through as he's, um, coming back in, and they, they said, you can't bring back four boxes, you can only bring back two. And they asked for receipts, he didn't have the receipt, and maybe he did, I, I don't know, but I don't think he did. But in any event, they got this sort of argument, and um, ultimately he kind of protested, and they ended up being nice about it, and they said, this time, we'll let you go. So, he got his four boxes back, and... Um, from what I recall, that was during the time during the Obama administration. So he could bring back up to 100 cigars. There were 20 in the box, and we only had 80 there. So he could uh, legally come back into the States with those. I don't believe he was asked about it. I can't recall. But anyway, he got them back. Um, so in Cuba, though, I, I rarely do I run into that issue. And so, you know, I think cigars like this that I'm, I don't know, you know, I didn't have a receipt for these, so nobody asked me in Cuba. So I think if you don't overdo it, like four full boxes and his carry-on, that was probably pushing it a bit. I mean, you know, from their standpoint, uh, there's an embargo, right? Um, they are not allowed to import anything, you know, well, maybe a few restricted things, but from the United States, so why do we feel we can take anything we want out of Cuba? And then they have a point there. So, you know, I think that was overdoing it for four boxes, and so I would not suggest that, although, um, you know, I've never run into that issue. They've never really asked. Um, you know, I've had them check my bag before, and I've had like um, a rolled up cylinder of artwork that we purchased 
and they wanted to look at that to see what was in that cylinder, you know, it was cardboard, and they breezed right by cigars that were in the bag to look at that cylinder, and they didn't care about the cigar. So, for the most part, I don't think they really care as long as you're, you're not overdoing it. Uh, unlabeled cigars, I don't know that they care either. And, and quite frankly, you know, one thing that I do, and, and legitimately, I, I take um, I take some Dominican Nicaraguan cigars to share with my Cuban friends um, because they don't get those, you know. So they'll they'll give me some cigars, some Cuban cigars, and you know we're not trading, we're just we're just kind of sharing uh, cigar, having a cigar together. Hey, try this one. Hey, try this one. You know, and uh, sometimes it's better. To bring those, if you bring them in, to take the labels off, so there's no label, and consequently, when you're leaving, and you have cigars like this that don't have a label, it's really hard to distinguish whether or not this was a cigar from Cuba or a cigar that I took in myself to share with my friends that uh, were, you know, Nicaraguan or, or Dominican. So, if you don't have the labels on, I think it's hard to say. I don't know that there's any sort of DNA test to show that it's, in fact, a Cuban cigar. So, this cigar, the draw issue is getting better. It's not a perfect draw. It's still a little bit tight, but really a nice flavor. A deep, uh, a deep it, it's got the creaminess of Cuba, the salty tobacco flavor that they have, but it's also got kind of a deep, almost a chocolatey for a Cuban, you know, and I think that's that dark wrapper, so it's a very unusual cigar uh, to get in Cuba with this dark wrapper. Similar maybe to the Maduro 5, the Cohibas, uh, which I've had, which are really good too. But now, yeah, the draw is really good actually, that was, that was a good draw. So, so hopefully, I, I've answered some of the questions, and again, I, I don't want to, you know, it's a touchy subject, you know, again, I'm not suggesting that you violate any laws, I'm not suggesting that I violate the laws, you know, but I, I am saying that, um, generally speaking, it's not been a problem, um, you know, and again, if you don't overdo it. Um, Highly recommend going to Cuba, smoking cigars in Cuba, doing it under the guise of support for the Cuban people. You know, if you're not American, you can go under your country's, you know, rules and regulations as you like. But most of uh, my my friends that I talk to, they always want to know, hey, can you can you bring cigars back? And if so, how do you do it? So, so that's uh, that, that's the best answer I can give. You know, the last thing I'll say is that, um, you know, people have asked me on the price, you know, the price is good, and, and Cuba, the, the prices are up now, but certainly it's less than going to Mexico or Canada to get Cuban cigars. Um, I highly recommend going. It's incredibly safe, Cuba is. Uh, the people are incredibly nice. Um, it's, it's not expensive. It's uh, a great experience, and, and the cigars are phenomenal. Whether you go there and you just smoke them, or you you bring them back, um, you know, in a way that that is legal. Um, and uh, so, with that, I think I'll wrap up and finish this cigar. So, I hope that answered uh, some of the, the questions. Um, feel free to put some questions in the chat. I may or may not again. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to uh, incriminate myself, and I'm not saying I've done anything incriminating, but um, take that as you will. So, enjoy, and uh, we'll see you soon.